Hello folks, welcome back to MTG AI Tournaments. Today we're going to be doing the Pioneer AI vs. AI Tournament next matchup. We have Vampires here versus Mar Mentor Control. Mentor Control deck, as you can see, is based around Monster and Mentor. And has a bunch of spells. And uh, we're going to create a lot of tokens. Get some prowess stuff going on here. Here's the land base. And then for the Vampires deck... Here, uh, one second, <laughs> and then the vampires deck is the tribal deck here, as you can see, Sorens and stuff like that, and the land base. Looks like the mentor control deck is going to go first. We have a sulfur falls, a triome, seam vents, and three spells and one monstery mentor. For them to start out and for the vampire deck we have a three land to two creature or sorry that's not a creature uh it's a planeswalker uh one creature three spell ratio here and we're gonna see how this is gonna start off so triome is gonna come into the battlefield tapped and we're gonna see a hive of the eye tyrant and a thought seize here which took out uh the rip apart from the mentor control deck Sulfur Falls is going to enter the battlefield. So sequencing was right there for the AI as, as it came in untapped. Death's Legion Zella is going to enter the battlefield. Ping them for one life, but we'll, gain, but we'll draw another land. And Fiery Impulse is going to take care of that Death's Legion Zella, though. We're going to see a tapped Castle Lothlane. Hopefully I said that right. And passing the turn. You see a tapped scene vents because we don't play untapped dual or untapped shock lands in AI apparently. And we got a Kalidus Trader of Get off of our Soaring here. Uh, it's gonna end the battlefield and that's gonna prevent Monster and Mentor from attacking in, but we're gonna get Big score right now. Drawing some cards, creating some treasure tokens, discarding uh, temporal trespass, I believe. And we get another mentor and a Dovin's Veto and a Sulphur Falls. And we're going to use the treasures, looks like, to cast the other monster and mentor. So that can get out of hand pretty quickly if the Kalidus. Um, which does attack, leaving them open, but they do get a Knight of the Ebon Legion to enter the battlefield um, as a blocker. Which also gets a counter. Uh, we're going to get a Treasure Cruise here post-combat, drawing a bunch of cards, creating a bunch of monks. So the Mentor Control deck has a plan to win the game. It just needs to get around the vampires on the other side. Uh, Fatal Push is going to take care of one of the monk tokens as we're casting another Consider, which draws a pieces of the puzzle. Now we're going to see a board wipe here. Path of Pearl is going to take out all those monks leaving behind two monastery mentors. No attacks here from, from the vampires deck. And looks like we're gonna get another monastery mentor here, creating three more monks. Um with the pieces of the puzzle playing. And we're gonna see an opt here creating another three more. And we're going to draw a Triome from that Opt. Now we're going to see a bunch of duplicates here that they can't play for the Vampire's deck. So this might be pretty difficult. And especially with that decision right there to use that, um, it's going to be pretty difficult. They have a spell next turn, which looks like they have two uh, counter spells. But... Say something else like an opt or something. 
or an Arc Light Phoenix, which is which can attack in in the air. Um, but it looks like there's going to be a full on attack at Soren. Mutaball is going to block a Monk token. Cletus is going to block a a Mentor. And a Triome is going to draw a card there, which drew an opt. That could have been lethal if they decided to do that first, I believe. Or did they draw the Triome off of... No. Okay. Champion of Dust is in the battlefield. Uh, that was risky. I mean, not really. Just one life. But it's not going to be enough to end the game here, I don't believe. Well, they do have a lifelinker in Kalidus. Uh, we're going to see a Temporal Trespass here. It's going to create a ne an extra turn, which is going to allow Arclight Phoenix. Well, I, mean, I guess you can take out Soren, but that would have been lethal if you attacked in for six on both the extra turns. And we're going to see a full on attack here. Is there going to be an opt? Looks like there will not be. So kind of interesting there for prowess. Uh, Fire Impulse is going to take out a zombie token. No more mentors. So this actually could turn around for the vampires deck uh, if yeah definitely. But a uh, spell pierce or mystical dispute sorry is going to take out or remove counter. That's the word. Uh, gifted Aetherborn. And we're going to get an Arclight Phoenix in the air, but when Kalidus attacks back, you're beginning one more life than he dealt. Oh, beginning uh, one more life over the damage that he dealt. So it won't be doing much. And Champion of Dust is in the battlefield. Uh, putting him down to six, but we are going to get a bunch of other cards. And it looks like we're going to get a Gifted Aetherborn here. Not going to be Spell Pierce, of course. <laughs> Fiery Impulse uh, just took out Zombie Token. Treasure Cruise is going to draw three cards here. So we're going to see possibly what could happen here. Um, nothing much, as the Vampire's deck is going to go into combat. Doing a lot of damage here. We're swinging in for a lot of damage here. Um, but we do have. Looks like the Galvanic Iteration is going to copy a Fiery Impulse. So AI doing some doing some things here. It looks like Trader of Get um, is going to get hit, and we're going to kill something else. Okay. Or not trigger or get, sorry. Uh, yeah, that, that is what it is. And we're going to get a Vampire Token and a Dust Legion Zealot, which is going to draw a Castle Lock Coin. And Thoughtseize is going to get rid of that Spell Pierce. Leaving... Oops, I just closed out all the hands. There we go. Leaving the top deck is the only option for the Mentor control deck for the first game, and looks like there's no chance as there's a land drawn and a ton of damage coming in here. Yeah, negative something here. Negative four, looks like. So, yeah. Oops, I got the first play <laughs> already, but we're good. Uh, next match, we have the Hall of the Storm Giants starting off for the Mentor control deck, which has two fiery impulses, a triome, a steam vents, pieces of the puzzle, and rip apart. We have a two land to th or sorry three land to three creature and one thought sees ratio for our vampire deck. We're gonna see if they decide to play the Godless Shrine untapped here. So I don't think they will. Although it is possible. Nope, we're gonna see a Mutavolt, which is even weirder of a play. In my opinion. Okay. Try I'm getting buff tapped. Passing the turn back to the Vampire Staff, which is gonna play another Mutavolt. Okay, and, and attack him, I guess. I guess that works. Um, but we've done something different. And a tapped Godless Shrine. Uh, Mutavolt's going to get taken out, though, by a Fiery Impulse. Which is pretty good for the for the Mentor Control deck. 
And so they just need some creature to be able to start finishing off the game. And it looks like we had a pieces of the puzzles there. And the mentor is going to attack in for two. Passing the turn back to the mentor control deck. Which is going to copy the next instant and sorcery spell. I, I don't believe it was on this turn, so that was kind of a waste, I think. Um, interesting. And it looks like we're going to do that again. Um, there we go. Oh, and nice. That's a nice treasure cruise there. It's going to draw six cards from that. That's pretty insane. But we have to discard a bunch of them, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to see Knight of the Ebon Legion get in for one here. No lands, as the Mita Vaults have been de getting destroyed um, for the vampires, but it's two fire impulses there are going to take out some creatures from the vampires deck so again control is very good you just need a way to finish off the game for sure keeps it aetherborn can enter battlefield it's a death touch lifelinker and it looks like we're going to see an extra turn here ripping apart that creature and we're going to see a sulfur fault and a Hall of the Storm Giants, which is going to turn into a 7-7 seven, seven to attack in. It looks like the Mentor Control deck is going to try now to finish out the game. Uh, as the opposing deck's not really doing much. There is a Death Toucher here, but it's going to be taken out by the Chain to the Rock. And another 7 damage putting them into 6. Passing the turn. If there's nothing they can do here, they can gift Aetherborn. Thought sees taking out a pieces of the puzzle. But ending the turn, we're gonna see if they can draw a fire impulse off of something or uh, we'll see here. Nothing there. Um, post combat we, we are gonna get a monster and mentor though. So lethal will definitely be happening soon. Uh Soren He's going to attack in for two, gaining two life, going to six. Passing the turn, we're going to see a consider. The upkeep. Making a monk token. And a haul the storm giants, which is going to attack in for lethal. As apparently this didn't consider that that was here. <laughs> so it looks like the mentor control deck is going to take the, the uh, second game. And it looks like... We've been having some um, pretty close games for for this second round of the tournament here. Looks like we got a Steam Vents, a Hall of Fountain, and another Steam Vents. Fire Impulse, a big score to consider. For the Mentor Control deck, and we have Fatal Push, Champion of Dust, Soren, and then four lands for the Vampires deck. Vampire's deck is going to play a Voldarian, or Volden, Voldaren its state. It's tap Steam Vents, passing the turn to the Vampire's deck, which can't play anything. We're going to see a Consider End of Turn. Hall of Fountain tapped. A Bright Climb Pathway, and we're going to see a Sorn, I believe, which I think is going to put that Champion of Dust onto the battlefield, drawing a Fatal Push. Which is three in hand. So whenever they end up starting playing mentors, they're gonna be taken care of. Um well at least the monks. Four damage uh from the vampires deck. Definitely a faster start for them this time. Whereas a not as uh fast start for the mentor deck, but it is a control deck, so kind of expected that. Champion of Desk. And we're going to Thought Seize out the big score. Passing the turn. A Temporal Trespass is going to uh, create an extra turn. Interesting. Uh, drawing a Steam Vents, which is going to come into play. Tapped. 
And I don't think we're going to see that yet, but we're going to see it now. Looks like we discarded a uh, treasure cruise and we got a vision and sulfur falls. Uh, Champion and Dust putting in a ton of work here. Um, putting the mentor control deck down to eight all by itself. Fiery Impulse is going to take up the Knight of the Ebon Legion now. And it looks like the treasure cruise is going to go off. Uh, but nothing, nothing to block, no, no creature, so. Dust Legion, or Champion of Dusk, it's going to get in. Putting them down to four, so next turn will be lethal if they don't find a way to take care of it. Uh, we're going to five, we're going to play that. And looks so like we got to burn down the house, but we are um, going to Galvanic Iteration instead. And Rip Apart, okay, so Rip Apart is going to take out... Soren and it's gonna um, well that's not gonna really help save you I would have hit the champion of dust I think uh, but yeah that's gonna be lethal here and vampires is gonna move on to the third round